Hi and welcome back to my channel Glamorous by Maggie. As you can see in the description box above we are going to be doing this bright fun blue eye look. I have been seeing everybody and their grandmas it seems like has been doing all these fun eye looks and I just I am just drawn to them. They are just screaming at me that I need to do them and they are beautiful and everything. So uh, today I am doing one for you. I am going for this look right here but I don't have um, whatever exact shades that um, this lady used so I thought I would just dig in my makeup collection and use what I have because I know everybody can't afford to run and grab the palette that someone is using so I thought you know I'm just going to use what I have I have things that I can create the look no it's not exact but I'm still gonna be able to create it and I still love the way it turned out I am using a lot of different um, brands and uh, like I said I'm just using whatever I had in my makeup collection to create this look I really like it like I said the pops a color is just screaming at me lately. Ask me a year ago to wear bright blue eyeshadow on my eyes and I would tell you to go kick rocks. But here I am. I love it. I think it's super fun. I do have some more bright fun looks um, coming. I, I hope you guys enjoy them. If you don't enjoy them, I'm sorry. I guess don't watch. But um, I have some more fun stuff coming. So it's hopefully spring soon we had all the snow melting off and then it snowed last night so boo I'm over the snow but so we're just gonna get started I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started hey guys here we are bare face yikes just using some Mac Pro Longwear as, um, as my base for my eyeshadow just applying that all over my lid And then I'm just blending it out with my makeup sponge. Here I am, I'm just setting it with just any um, white cream uh, skin toned eyeshadow. Now taking the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar, I am using Nutmeg and I'm just applying that in the crease all over as my transition shade. Doing it on the other side. Now taking this real bright uh, kind of sea blue. This one is um, by e.l.f. Cosmetics. I think I literally paid like a dollar for it. I'm just working that in my crease, um, starting out with a little bit and then building it up. That way you can kind of have more say in where that color is being placed. I do have to say um, that this um, shadow doesn't have the greatest payoff. You really have to build it, but for a dollar, it did the job. Now I'm just packing um, it all over the center of my eyelid, and I really did have to pack it on. I think I went in probably four or five different times, just kept packing it on, really trying to make that real vibrant, bright blue. Now going in with that semi-sweet, I'm just using that coconut cream. I'm just trying to put down a nice white base for the next shadow I'm going to be using. Now I am taking this Makeup Geek um, foiled eyeshadow in Voltage. I'm just packing that on the inner corner and I just kept packing it and packing it. And now I'm just going back with that um, bright blue just to blend those two. Now taking the semi-sweet chocolate bar using that blueberry swirl and I'm just applying that on the outer corner of my lid just to have um, more of a deeper blue color. And this was kind of a hard one to get the 
um, true color to apply on the lid as well. I had to keep packing it and packing it, but I achieved the color I was wanting. And then I'm just putting it in the crease a little bit as well and then just blending it out so we don't have any harsh rough edges. Packing a little more on there. And I was losing that center shade, so I packed some more of that on there as well. Making sure my crease is nice and defined. Now just doing the exact same steps on the other side. So I'm taking that Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar, the Blueberry Swirl, packing it, packing it, packing it on that outer corner, putting it in the crease to define my crease out a little bit. Shapening that outer corner just so I have kind of a little wing going on with that shadow. Blending it all out so it's all seamless. Now I'm going into the Nubian 2 palette and I am taking the Moro B, that yellow bottom color, and the Zuri. And I apologize if I'm saying those wrong. I'm mixing those two and I'm adding them in the inner corner because I wasn't getting that bright yellow green pop that I was looking for. Now taking the black, the licorice out of the Too Faced palette, I'm just applying that on the outer corners just to deepen it up a little bit, give it a little bit more uh, character, applying it a little bit in the crease to making that crease a little more defined. And then I'm taking whatever is left from the brush from my inner corners and I'm just applying it as my brow bone highlighter. Boo! So taking just any sort of any sort of makeup wipe, I'm just wiping all of the fallout that I had fall onto my face, cleaning up my face, getting it ready for my foundation. Hello! Now I'm just taking my um, that blue shade and I am just tightening up my corners of my eyes with that blueberry swirl, that darker blue. I just wanted to really shape them out and have it all nice and neat since I do have my foundation on now. Now taking this teal um, pencil, I am just lining my bottom waterline and the outer corner of my upper waterline. And now taking that um, flat shader brush that we've been applying all the blues with, I am just taking whatever is left on there and I am just running that along my waterline. That will be the color that we use along our bottom waterline. And I'm just smudging it out as I apply it. Then taking the shades that we used for our inner corner and I'm applying that in the inner corners and on the corner one third part of the bottom lash line. Now I'm just blending it all out. Now taking these Ardell 110s, I'm just applying these false lashes. I'm applying them with the Duo Lash Glue and I am not crazy about these lashes. For some reason, they are so long and when I wear them, I'm just like itching to get them off. So, they are very beautiful. I filmed all this just so you guys can see that, you know, lashes are a little struggle for me. Um, don't be intimidating, you just gotta work with them. Now taking some NYX um, black liquid liner, I'm just going over that um, lash band just to um, kind of camouflage it all in. 
And then make sure you get your very inner corner where the lashes aren't um, in the inner corner. That makes it really look um, more neat, put together, and more natural in my opinion. Now applying some mascara to marry my natural lashes and my false lashes together. Ooh, look at those eyes, so pretty. I love this look. Now for my lips, I am taking the Too Faced Naked Dolly um, lipstick, just applying it, just a nice nude. Then I'm going back in with that Makeup Geek Voltage Shadow. I'm just applying a little on my finger and then I'm applying it in the center of my lips. It gives it a beautiful shimmery sheen. I, I just love it. I think it tied the whole look together. Voila! Hello, hello, hello. There is the final look. I wish you could see my lips better. Okay, so here's the final look. I really like this look. Um, I am loving the fun colors right now. Um, and I really enjoy the touch that I did on my lips, doing the lipstick and then adding that little bit of shadow. Just gives it a nice little something, some sort of um, pop, I guess you'd say. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked the fact that I was showing you a look that I was trying to achieve and I was just using the shadows that I had here in my makeup collection. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that can't afford to run out there and grab just whatever makeup palette um, somebody is doing a makeup tutorial on, but you still want to achieve that makeup look. So I thought, well, let's do this a little different and kind of um, just use what I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment below on other videos you'd like to see, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!